Hey guys, in today's video, let's look at how we can get ChatGPT to create our database for us. And the final result I want is something like this. Uh, I want a customer's table and an order's table uh, with customer ID as the primary key for customers, order ID as the primary key for orders, uh, and then uh, the orders table will have a foreign key of customer ID, which will uh, track back to the customer's table's customer ID. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, and before we do that, uh, let me just show you this uh, in a picture form. And so once I have this, uh, which is basically the table name as well as the fields and the data types, what I did then is I copied it over to Excel. So it's the same thing here. And um, yeah, so we can use this to tell ChatGPT. So just uh, let's copy that and uh, go to ChatGPT. Please create um, a table for me in MS Access uh, as follows. And then paste the uh, copied data. Specify your primary key. So in this case, customer ID is my primary key. And then, uh, spelling mistake here, primary key. Okay, so looks good. Yeah, let's go. And let's see what ChatGPT creates for us. So you can automatically detect that we want customers as the uh, table name. Okay, so looks correct. We want four fields. Um, yeah, with customer ID. And then I don't see why it's going into the insert into statement. That's not relevant. But okay. And Next, we want to create our orders table. Okay, please create um, a table for orders as follows. Then we paste, and in this case, we want your primary key. Okay. Then it should create the table okay so so far it looks good uh, this is the easy part so please link the two tables with a foreign key constraint in the uh, in the orders table with orders customer ID referencing customers customer ID um, self access SQL okay See, it should give us something like uh, alter table orders. At, uh, no, this isn't quite right. So why it's not right is please add a constraint. But yeah, we can see. Uh, I think for MS Access SQL, we need to add um, a constraint when adding a foreign key. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's just copy the code to create the tables first. And uh, yeah, we'll start by deleting what we have already. Okay, so let's delete, delete. Cut this. We want to cut this as well. Okay, so we have deleted um, all our tables that we had. 
and uh, let's go ahead and create our let's go ahead and create our tables first okay so we'll go to chat GPT uh, we create customers first then let's run it okay we got our customers and then now we want to create our orders run that okay so we got customers and orders and now the part where we need to link uh, where we need to link um, the two tables okay so I want this one let's see if it works um, we might need to specify the constraint so let's see okay let's run okay it managed to work okay so and let's see our relationships show all relationships okay so yeah that's super fast uh, we got our customers table up our orders table uh, and also we have a one is to many uh, relationship uh, we can double click that to see uh, and the referential integrity is enforced. If you want to, you could also just click here to update and cascade your updates and deletes. Okay, so yeah, that's a super fast way to create um, a database in ChatGPT uh, using ChatGPT for your SQL uh, statements. Uh, pretty impressive. Uh, I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, see you in the next video where we see if we can get ChatGPT to help us with our queries uh, and see if we can do some more complicated queries uh, with the help of ChatGPT. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.